listening to the warning shots, of course, there from KKR and a number of others that we've all stepped in too far. Our last guest called these bonds, US and European bonds, as slightly treacherous to hold. Have a look at this chart. How close are we to a treacherous reversal and a bond market tantrum if we are underwhelmed by the Fed? Well, I mean, I, I think there's every prospect that we will see, you know, some form of snapback. But it may not be one which lasts for long because I, I think the market is probably right to price in something like three rate cuts over the course of the next nine months. Um, now, the markets may have front-loaded that a little bit, admittedly. But uh, I think the broad direction of where, where markets are headed is, is, is right. In terms of bond markets, equity markets, though, in terms of reaching record highs, we've come off a little bit in recent days. If you're not already in this equity market, should you be joining the rally? Oh, definitely not. I mean, this is one, this is one to avoid because I, mean, I think a lot of uh, investors who are already in the market are thinking maybe it's time to get out. I and mean, we just heard um, from the likes of BlackRock who were saying that they want to cut their, their equity exposure. Again, um, I don't disagree with that at all. Um, I think that the, the concern I have is the timing. Um, it may be right to get out of the bond market now if the Fed is going to disappoint us, for example, uh, sorry, the equity market, because obviously that's something which would give the markets a bit, a bit of a downward leg. And, and let's not forget that the markets have been supported over the course of the last, what, two or three months, purely by expectations of rate cuts. So any disappointment there certainly could uh, lead to, to a sell-off. And, and I think over the course of the next few months, uh, I'd be very, very cautious uh, about where equities head, and I'd certainly be cutting my, uh, my positions. Um, and certainly the question is whether you get another 18% return on the S&P 500 in the second half of the year. Can I ask you about the dollar? And I, the reason why, go to Top FX, and we have a lovely story, which is Wall Street dons, the wild card notion. The wild card notion is that the U.S. could intervene. They haven't done it aggressively to sell the dollar, uh, uh, to push the dollar down since 2000. But ING say the lure of a weaker dollar to support the U.S. economy going into an election cycle could be too great. Do you think it is a real risk that the U.S. would be forced into a position of where they would sell the dollar and really try and move the market, given the G20 communique? Um, well, I, I rather think there's a political risk associated with the dollar, yes. I mean, obviously, um, Mr. Trump has expressed concerns that the dollar is too strong and that he'd like to see it weaker in order to improve the U.S. competitiveness somehow. Um, so it certainly is something which is on the edge of the radar screen. It's not something which I would expect uh, the Fed to engage in, but um, given that uh, we're living in a very politicised world with regard to monetary and, and financial conditions these days, um, certainly uh, I think investors are right to uh, at least flag up the risks. 